Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Kingdom's out. I'm, I was about to sit down, get my grub, eat my food, you know, put my sweet chili sauce on, and watch some power, man. Usef, Brago, freaking uh, OV, they got me on this, this, they got me, they got me on this power. So <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, but binge it, but Kingdom just come out. Uh, apparently, ever since a certain incident, Kingdom hasn't been coming out on Sunday, Monday anymore. I'm pretty sure that incident is true. So I have like, Locked down on rules basically. Five to five was an exception because it was just for a holiday. So we'll be getting Tuesday, Wednesday releases from now on. So pretty much same day as One Piece and everything. And Dino Ace. It's too bad. We'll just have to adapt. Great, cool. Um, so yeah, let's just. I mean, we're all grateful for whatever happened. So you know, let's just jump in. Cool. Look, at least we got the chapter. So chapter five to six: the spear and the iron hammer. So we're staying with Ohan. Whoa, and we see Ohan. That's the sound I think of when I hear it, when I see these spears. Cool, he's just peppering Bananji. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bananji, sorry for like, my face is dripping wet. I've just had a shower. I washed my hair. Bro, bro. Yo, I mean, I know Ohon skilled as a spear, but he's back. He's making Bananji, who's Rampart strength level, back down. Bro, with every fiber of his body and soul, putting everything into this single instant. He looks different there, because his face is down, but yeah. Wow, man. One hand spear, and he's just... What? Amazing. Been a long time since we saw Hon Summer get serious. He was already strong enough with his speed and precision from before, but now it's almost as if his spear has the same destructive force as El Shi of the Wayfire Dragon. Oh, and El Shi was meant to be the guy with the spear. Oh, Jutan, considering that Hunsama took down Oshi, yeah, well, he did, yeah, but Oshi was meant to be, even though he took him down, Oshi was still meant to be, like, you know what I mean? Um, his shit, his spirit, shouldn't his spirit already be, I, right, there's no doubt, he should be among the, f the top five in the entire central plains, top five in kingdom for speed, yeah, yeah, I'd give him that. Bananji, general, don't fuss, I've yet to take a single clean hit from him, true? This, that being said, it's the first time I've met such a ferocious spear wielder. I'd heard the report, and he's been around, heard the reports, that, but to think of Ohon of the Gyokyo was skilled to such a degree. Ooh, the hype! Even if, I, I don't know many Ohon fanboys though, I think everyone just likes him, he's like, he's just a general, like, because he looks so cool, right, he's just a general liked person. I don't know a really real fanboys of him. Even if I were to try and swing my glaive, I met with a rapid chain of attacks before he entered my reach. Speed, bro. People are talking trash on speed. Speed. Speed over power. Just Kokai can't fight. Nah, nah, nah. Speed over power. A few more exchanges and perhaps I'll get the hang of it. But then you summer, I'm afraid we may not have much time as much time as we believe. I know, but last time he's on my side. We should disengage, sir. Stay here any longer and don't be stupid. These kin wretches still have to get the t taste and might of Hansama being your god. That man's up to something. Yo, I wanna see what he does. But Andrew's Iron Hammer. I want to see just one. Woo! Yo, it looks like his... Did he throw it? Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. He changed his grip like he's throwing it. Did he throw the glaive? He... Wait. It looks like he's throwing it. He th Yeah, he's, his hands aren't like He's thrown the glaive. The guy threw it. He threw his weapon. Oh, I'm not even shocked. He's not even shocked one bit. Oh, wait, he dives in. He dives in and grabs Ohon and his spear hand. Ohon shot. And Ohon's like, like this. Why is he like this? He's on the ground. Whoa. That hit. He let go of his spear. The guy punches the ground and there's a crack in the ground. Rampart level strength. He's doing that gravity stuff, bro. This. Did Ohan just do some, some ground martial arts stuff? Is that his leg? Is he like trying to do some, ah, I'm going to break your hand. I think he is. I think that's his boot. I think that's his boot. Like grabbing, he's like not phased by this. Oh, and he just throws him away. Wow. 
so he managed to avoid it. With these fists that pulverized numerous Zing Zingu leaders, regardless of their almost superhuman skills. Wow. But I'm just, and he gets his boy to throw his spear back. I mean, his glaive. I know. Ooh. Ooh, Ok Akko just appears like. Okay. General Akko? Does he do any damage? No, spit. I guess he blocked it. I guess I guess Bananji blocked it. Oh, and Akko got cut up. Cool. It would seem you're more my cup of tea, O oh, Kin Commander. And both of their spears are like their glaives. Sorry, I just keep saying spears. Their glaives are like trembling from the hit. Bananji Sama. <laughs> to let the Iron Hammer fall on two such occasions at the same time, it's is somewhat difficult with these few troops that I have with me. Do you actually think you can escape? We can, we can, you can escape, Ton Summer. Let, then let me ask you, did you truly think that you would claim my head on the first day? Hmm? Enemy forces to our rear? Ooh. The other portion of Benadji's army, the one that was sent off to act as a shield. What are they doing? You overcommitted your resources, Kin. You would do best to remember that I am not the only Zalkmada. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's another guy on the field. Our first wave was caught. The second win? Correct. Benanji's assault on the on Kin's left, along with the commanders choosing to gather here, has resulted in a large disparity in strength along Kin's um length of the length of Kin's line. The opening that Gakwe army needed to catch their breath and mount a comeback. Okay, cool. That was the opening all they, they needed. Cool, my hunch was correct. The Benanji that this Benanji understands welfare warfare well. Who had to join force join the battle as well than the Tai Okay, yeah, this is um the other guy talking. What's his name? Chu I forgot his name. Um, it brings a true right. Um, then the ties would greatly shift towards our favor, would they not? Nay. Okay, yeah, true, 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 Garu. The true Garu army will not take any action until the enemy has been weakened further. Only after they've been weakened, thoroughly weakened, shall we go to battle. Perfect, perfect. Let's just destroy the, the right side of Kin. Okay, finally, again, both got back, back to the central. Meanwhile, Kin Central Army's HQ. Shin has been summoned by Osen. General Shin of the Heishin unit is here. Boy, don't just go before receiving permission. Bro, like, that's what I love about Shin. He's just like, yeah, what, formalities, bro. Uh, he's a village boy. He don't know about all this. He just walks up like, <laughs> we get the presentation. Is it finally the Heishin unit's turn, General Osen? Any longer and we'll probably restart to grow. Pick out 800 of your cavalry. Huh? Choose 800... The 800 fastest riders of your men you have set out immediately. I'm heading out with only 800 to where? Which battlefield? The left. <laughs> Everyone's going to the left. How is everyone going to the left and nothing is happening in the middle? How? That's what the Gakaka unit is. Cut your way into the left battlefield and bring in the head of the Zao commander Kisui. <laughs> Wow, wow, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, Kisui? I mean, I guess. Next chapter, how fair, so we're switching to Gotanwa. So we still don't get to see, we still don't get to see Roboku. After how many chapters, it's been like, I feel like it's been like 10 chapters, probably been like less than that, but man. How is the center just chilling like this? I just don't understand how the central army is chilling like this. And Harrogate give me a great explanation as to why Robogu has done nothing while people would just keep going to the left. How is this possible? How is this being done without any any repercussions? Doesn't make sense. That was my live reaction to the chapter. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about. Shin versus Kisui, what I mean, I guess everyone pretty much assumes Shin's going to take Kisui's head. Ohon versus Benadji was pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool, I guess. Uh, and then we've also got um, Akko stepping in as well. I mean, they're 2v1 in him and he's still handling his business. People say, oh, he's not Ren, but yeah, he's got Ren past strength. The guy punched the ground and there was like a, <laughs> the gravity crack in it. Like, come on, man. The guy's strong. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my live reaction. Um, nothing more to add, really. I mean, 
I mean, next week we've got your turn. Well, I mean, we still don't see Roboku. What do you think Roboku's doing? Tell me in the comments. What do you think Roboku's doing? Do you think the middle is really just chilling like this with no repercussions? I mean, Osen doesn't look at phased in any way. So, like, and there's no, there's no way on this flat plains that Roboku just can't see this. There's just no way. But anyway, let me stop from playing. That was my live reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate the video. Um, subscribe to me. We do Kingdom every week. Uh, as always, please comment your thoughts. That's the main important thing. So we can have a discussion. And yeah, as always, please do have a blessed day.